My name is Gabriel Litunya Akali. I am a youth farmer and the chairperson of Kakamega Youth Agribusiness Association. Uh, the, the Youth Association is the umbrella organization for youth in Kakamega County. It covers 12 sub-counties of Kakamega County. About the membership, we have 240 uh, youth individual members. We have 10 group uh, members and we have also corporate membership that is still in, in progress. Uh, we have a vision and the vision for the organization is to be a pioneer in youth empowerment and um, sustainable uh, agricultural uh, agribusiness activities in the county. We also have objectives and uh, our objective mainly is to mobilize and promote youth in involvement in agribusiness. Uh, network and link youth in agribusiness for social, economic and technological benefits uh, through, uh, to, in, in order to promote partnership and mobilize resources for capacity development, advocacy and act as a voice for youth in agribusiness. Uh, the reason for formation is in Kakamega County, uh, the youth saw the need to have the umbrella organization which is going to champion their issues in agribusiness because for a long time youth have not had a voice uh, to, to air out their issues about agriculture and that has been one of the challenges that we have had uh, in, the, in the past. So the pioneers of this association uh, are the youth who are working closely with GIZ programs and uh, they came together in June 2018 and decided to form a youth umbrella organization. So through that process, we have been also pursuing registration uh, through the government for legal status. So the association is linking with other associations in the other counties like Bungoma and Siaya to form a larger network. Now, um, the activities of the association uh, include, uh, we have taken part in, in the youth conference that was held in, in, in Kakamega that accommodated over 800 youth from the three uh, counties, Kakamega, uh, Siaya, and Bungoma. We are mobilizing youth uh, in the western region and through that, we have been able to come up with a joint declaration as the three uh, county governments. And in, in, in that, we have, uh, we have engaged the county government and national government, and we have been able to sign that declaration. In the joint declaration, the youth have been able uh, to identify nine thematic areas uh, to enhance agribusiness. And this includes their expectations uh, from both levels of government, their future engagements, and their commitment also to the declarations. Uh, we are currently uh, doing um, a mobilization and identifying star youth farmers from the county. And Lydia is just one of the youth farmers that we have uh, in the in, we have mobil we have mobilized. We have many others that are undergoing training so that we can be able to network them with other youth for the purposes of uh, learning uh, and, and mentorship. Now, uh, about the opportunities that we have, uh, largely we, ha we, have, we have a larger population of uh, literate youth. We also have devolved government system, which is really helping us because most of the agricultural activities have been devolved. So this is a big opportunity for youth to utilize. We have a wide access to uh, technology. Uh, Kenya, most of the youth are able to access technology through various platforms. And this is able to connect them to social media, Facebook and other uh, social networks which they share agribusiness uh, information. Also, we have improved uh, agribusiness environment in that we have so many, uh, we, have, we have organizations that are working within the rural areas 
and they are able to network with us, we link them to the youth. Uh, about the challenges that we have, we have organizational challenges. As we have mentioned before, the association is, has a wider coverage in all the county, and we are mobilizing resources to be able uh, to manage all those youth within the, the 12 sub-counties. Uh, another challenge that we have is weak and informal networks. Weak in, and informal networks, in the, in, in, for example, the marketing networks, they are not very strong, they are still weak. Uh, we also have lengthy registration and uh, bureaucratic procedures because we have been uh, applying for the registration and it has taken some time. Uh, also, the, the, the opinion of youth about agriculture, the perceptions, the mindset, it is something that we are dealing with, it's a challenge. We need to embrace uh, uh, agriculture as youth, but it's a challenge because there are other competition from other sectors, technical uh, in, in, uh, sources, technical courses, like, um, like lamping. Uh, so we need to really work hard to ensure that youth perceive agriculture as a big opportunity for them for investment. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening. Thank you.